All right, it's the evening before the Iditarod start. Um, so I'm just getting my sled ready to go. And I figured I'd take this chance to kind of show you what we run on the bottom of these runners. Um, we have runner plastic. <laughs> so changing that runner plastic is kind of a, a constant thing. You gotta keep an eye on it out there. It's held on the front here with a little cotter pin that runs through the runner and through the hole on there. And then uh, we're gonna slide back here. And for removing this stuff, this stuff is beat up. I'm not gonna try to reuse it again. So I don't mind if I damage the rail. If you look up real close, take a look right here. There's a dovetail on the end of the plastic and the runner, the aluminum runner has a correlating groove. And so it slides in the runner and then it's pinched in place and that pin keeps it from sliding back. Since I don't have to worry about re reusing this plastic, I don't mind if I mess up that edge. So the quickest way to take it off is actually just to pop it and peel it. Now that is gonna bend this plastic on the edge. It's probably not gonna be real good to use again, but that stuff's pretty shot. I've been training all year on it. <laughs> um, the new stuff we're gonna put on, nice and clean. Now I did reel this, so I've put a slight etch onto the um, plastic there, and that's basically gonna allow the moisture that's created when this runner runs on plastic, um, or when this plastic runs on snow, it creates friction, creates a little bit of moisture. It helps that moisture to run out the plastic and not to create suction, basically. That's a very simplified version. Now, before I slide this new one on, if you come look at this, I'm gonna guess, even though this hasn't been too long since it's been in my basement, but we are gonna have some ice buildup. So I'm gonna take the back of my knife and you're gonna cut all that ice off. Um, so you see the mushrooms are all carrying some version of a knife like this, something similar. You know, yes, we do have to cut things, but more often than not, we're using this knife to scrape ice off the face of the runner to break open snaps that are frozen up. So, so we're always using this knife more as like a hitting and clubbing tool than a cutting tool. I do carry another knife with me that's very nice and sharp. And if I need to actually cut something carefully. What I just did there was just cleaning out the inside of the channel. Now this plastic should, with luck, slide right on there. Another fun fact here, I always roll the plastic this way so that when we feed the plastic onto that groove, it's not bending away from the runner, it's bending towards the runner. It's those little tiny details that don't seem to make a difference when you're at, the, at home rolling your plastic up, getting ready to ship it out on the Iditarod. But when you're out there, it's 40 below, and this plastic doesn't want to bend. Uh, if it's bent the wrong way and keeps popping out of the channel, it's really frustrating. You think, I'm never doing it that way again. <laughs> All right, now we've got it down on there. So come on up to the front. And I'll show you this pin process. So the runner plastic has the hole. We're gonna slide this up till that hole matches up nicely. The easy way to do that is actually to put this pin in there and then slide it. Oh, we're gonna a little too far forward. There we go. Slide it until it pops the rest of the way through. And then this pin stays in place with this little one. This uh, one's pretty tight in there. So that's gonna keep everything in there. I do wanna be careful that this pin doesn't hook on brush. So a lot of times I'm gonna pop it all the way in so it can't hook on anything. It's a little bit slower getting it out. But since I know one of the next sections of the trail we have is the Happy River Steps, the Dells El Gorge, the Farewell Burn, all of which is stuff that likes to grab your pins and little sticks will yank them out of there. So I'm gonna be a little more careful with it. Gonna go ahead and shove it in all the way. If it takes me two more seconds to change it, uh, when I get to Nikolai or somewhere, I'm not worried about that as long as I don't spend 10 minutes on the trail trying to replace this because that pin fell out. Last step, this one's not a, too long. The other one I put on there was a little bit longer. But the tail comes past the aluminum by three inches or so. You see this one down here? That's more what I'm going for. Call it a five eighths, three quarters of an inch. This plastic is really tough stuff, but if you score it, you can break it pretty easily. So I'm gonna take my knife and try to carefully not cut myself. And we're gonna go down on that. And get a good deep score mark right there. I see that one there. Now I'm gonna open that score mark just a little bit it doesn't take much and then i should just be able to pop that right off like that last step we're going to clean that edge up like this just going to take that sharp edge off the end and finally i'm going to bend it over just a little bit i want it to rise just a little bit down here you can probably see easier how it rises up just a little bit that way if i ever need to pull my sled backwards this runner plastic doesn't dive into the snow and peel off the runner like how we took this one off you know, took the old one off of this runner. So having a little bit of a bend up helps, but that's pretty much it. 
We've got uh, a couple hours till the race starts. So now that I have new plastic on here, I have to be careful moving this sled on a solid surface. I'm not gonna take it into the basement on the pavement where lateral movements could put scratches going this way in the plastic, loading it and unloading it from the truck. We're gonna be careful, but now that that's on there, I can start filling it, getting ready for, I did around 2024, here we come.